All right, good morning and thank you for the mon joining us on the Monday edition of TVC Breakfast. I'm Veronica Dan Ipoy. As usual, I'm not here alone. I have Kemi Fola Adeyemo. It's a blue Monday morning. It is. Uh, <laughs> talking about, you know, starting the week with a, with a punch, I hope. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. Good to see you. Hope same you got here. Some same rest. Here. Well, that's relative <laughs> because I was here during the weekend, yeah, but it's know, fine. It's right, fine as right. usual. Now, let's talk about something that is generating reactions and is of concern to uh, some Nigerians. A majority of Nigerians, if I may say, and that has to do with um, the recent uh, uh, raising of the alarm by Joint Admissions and Matriculations Board with regards to uh, one of uh, its persons who partook in uh, the examination of uh, the Unified Tertiary Matriculation Exam result, talking about Ejikeme Mesoma, who was reportedly uh, declared initially to have scored about 362, uh, but then Jamb now discovered that, that uh, there was some malpractice manipulation of its system mm. to, to that uh, her original score was about 249, but she claimed to have scored uh, three. 362. And then uh, Jam went on to say that there was also someone from Kaduna State, that's uh, Atong Gerald, who also claimed to have scored 380. And uh, Jam says that most of uh, these results are actually fake. And that uh, is not uh, true. And so what is concerning for me, before I get to parents who are aiding their children or people who are aiding this person is how porous the system is that uh, people can easily manipulate results. That is my concern. When I saw this story, I am saying, Jam, you should do better. If we're saying that over the years, we have had situations like this where people uh, easily manipulate results, we have special centers and all of this, and now we are seeing such a young girl also partaking in this practice, it goes to show how porous the system is. It is indeed very worrisome, Veronica, and there's also a particular, another um, suspect, so to speak now. Uh, Jam even says this one uh, didn't even do, he didn't even write the exam at all, and then he's parading himself as scoring 350 or thereabouts. These, these are really, really troubling uh, reports that we're hearing uh, from Jam, and now Jam is saying it's going to prosecute all those um, whose uh, whose numbers have been, you know, found to be, to be falsified. They, they say the numbers are aided by technology. They found a way to manipulate the system from the outside. From the little we know about this, because the alarm came from Jam itself, mm -hmm. and the little we know about it, like you have said, INEC um, Jam, I should say, needs to do serious house cleaning yeah. in, because all its work over the last couple of years have been aided by technology. And if this same technology that should aid their work is now the one that is being manipulated by young people with so much potential and now... You raised the point about are they being aided? Is somebody aiding them? Do they have you know some connivance from their family or, or, or some sort? We really need to hear more and more of this. There's also concern about these children because they are children, 16, 17 or thereabout. They are not yet adults, mm. but then their, their, their guilt or innocence now will have to be determined by, by the court, as Jam has said, is going to go all out. Uh, to prosecute them. All right. The, the issue is that Jam, from the way the statement is made, is like it is not new to them that um, people manipulate the system. So, uh, like you rightly pointed, Jam has to do house cleaning and look at how to upgrade its system. It should have to, every year have to look into upgrading its system such that it can't be easily manipulated. Uh, we know what education is. The bedrock of any society is very important. And if we're having this kinds of manipulation, what is the quality of persons we are having at the end of the day, going to higher institutions and then churning out as graduates? It also, it goes a long way. That's the ripple effect. But then something has to be done to nip this in the bud as quickly as possible. We have to leave the conversation here now.